Okay, from watching the video, um, what I took for how the booking process goes is that the arresting agency does the initial search um, when they're brought into the jail. They'll be asked if they have anything on them, any prohibited items, and they'll be told that if they do find any, then they'll face additional charges for bringing contraband into a correctional facility. Um, they will also go through a metal detector screening, possibly a scanner. I know some jails um, have those. Um, they'll do their mugshot and an index print for identification purposes. They'll be also um, taken to a holding area. Uh, when they're called into the booking area, the person will provide their contact information, next of kin, kin <laughs> and address. They'll also be re required to hand over all their property, which um, they will be able to see the property that is being handed over um, on camera. So for verification, and so there's never any questions of what was involved. Uh, they will also um, complete their full set of prints, um, which will then show up in the system for the charges that they're facing. They'll receive medical attention to go over um, any medical issues they may have, so that if they do run into a problem while they're incarcerated, they'll know how to treat them. Um, if they need more medical treatment, such as a behavioral health assessment, then they will have that done at that time. They'll also be classified based on their criminal history, the charges, and other factors placed in a housing unit. Um, so my state is Alabama, and in Alabama, in the jail, they are currently offering 16 community colleges, um, offering 25 different technical and educational courses through 50 different facilities in Alabama, including the county jails. They also have the release and early reentry programs, which are helping offenders with basic uh, life skills and how to trans transition back into society. Uh, as it is for um, if, if I was able to work in a jail or not, I don't believe I would be able to, um, at least not with dealing with offenders. Um, I just don't have a high tolerance level for disrespect, and I tend to be very vocal about it. So if I ever had to come across uh, bodily fluids or such being thrown at me, um, I don't think I could keep my composure very well. Also, I would have a hard time working and booking just because many of the offenders that are being processed may still be under the influence and being in that type of environment would be too chaotic for me um, as I have dealt with many addicts in my life and I don't care to be put back in a situation where um, I have to deal with that kind of behavior. I think changing things in a jail could be very difficult um, since it is usually for short time stays. So I think that could be very challenging to change things. Um, perhaps maybe the classifications could be a little bit different. Um, but I think jails are just kind of difficult.